everyone welcome to programming knowledge so i again welcome you all to programming knowledge so guys this is the github link of my repository so uh, like you can download this project clone this project and i have defined below the instruction how you can run this project on your local machine so guys welcome to program programming knowledge so let's get started with this tutorial so basically this is the new repository and uh, we are working on django projects repository so basically we were working on a cal calculator app so this was the layout of our app so this was responsive you can press ctrl shift i or you can simply right click and click inspect so this is the responsive nature of, of our app so basically we can type anything 2 plus 3 and we are going to reset so this, uh, we, are, we, we are able to implement this functionality the next part we are going to do basically we are going to add instructions block as well as define a form submission url to the page and then we will build a backend logic with exception handling as well okay so let's get started with this tutorial so basically what we can do uh, so this uh, we, we can define a list li class is equal to nav item okay then uh, same way a anchor tag uh, which is represented by a nav link good and href is equal to hash instructions instructions okay and, uh, and instructions instructions yeah good so this works fine so we can uh, I, I would uh, we can move to the page and see this uh, okay I'll uh, yes we can see here instruction has come uh, but as soon as click because I have not defined instructions ID so uh, what we can do we can move to this and we can see this row which represents the about block so I'll copy this row Control C and then I press Control V. So I'll uh, do this as instructions, instructions. Okay, good. And I have to define an instruction ID here as well because hash instructions. Yeah, good. So I have defined the hash instructions. So so I can uh, so we can define some instructions. So how we can define them? What we can do? We can move to Bootstrap and use list list group. So uh, in this way, we can learn a new thing also. This is a list group which also has list group item in it. So here are many. You can choose any style of you. Uh, so I'll use this one. Okay. So what I can do? Uh, I'll move this HR tag, uh, sorry paragraph and put this list group and I'll move to the page. And yeah, here you can see here the instructions I've defined. So when I click on instructions, instructions, okay, so there might be some issues. Hash instructions. Okay, there is an issue. Hash. Okay, okay. You don't need to define a hash inside uh, because when I was referring here, okay, let me go over. Yeah, hash instructions. When I click on this, I'll move to this because this ID is only instructions. So there was by mistake and hash instructions. So, uh, okay okay i'll refresh this page yeah good now i click on instructions i move to this block okay this is uh, now this is working fine so we can define some instructions here like uh, plus sign we can define uh, like uh, we can define some instructions plus for addition okay and simply something like star for multiplication okay uh, something like uh, and uh, uh, we can define this for division okay and basically we're working in Python so we might be using a uh, Python and this is for a uh, floor division floor division yeah and uh, we can try uh, also like this for minus okay okay so basically uh, we have defined some instructions like plus for addition minus multiplication division floor division we can under under define like uh, something like this also uh, Parenthesis also we can define 
okay we can define or we can define as brackets brackets okay or, or we can simply type parenthesis i think parenthesis okay so basically parenthesis are used to define a priority like if you want to uh, uh, evaluate first that parenthesis then next so we would move to the page and i'll refresh this page okay so this looks good plus for addition minus multiplication division row division and parenthesis okay so this looks fine so what we can do for define we can define a new url here so we'll try now we'll move to some backend part so so i'll move to urls.py file so i'll define a path is equal to submit query okay and views dot submit query and i'll give this a name as equal to submit query okay so i'll define some single quotes here submit query okay now now this is fine now uh, i'm referring to the submit query in views folder so i'll go to views so th this is throwing me an error because since i have not defined a uh, view uh, submit query in my views so def define submit submit query okay and i'll take a request as a parameter and uh, what i can do uh, till now i will define pass statement here okay so this looks fine and now in my html page i would move to my html page and what i can do uh, i have an action here yes percent url is equal to submit query yes uh, this looks fine okay so this looks fine uh, uh, yeah this is submit query fine now i would move to my submit query block use dot submit query yes okay uh, and i'll return uh, what i can do i'll take q as a parameter a q as a parameter and request dot get query because uh, i would show one thing that inside my form uh, i can move to the form uh, yeah uh, yeah here you can see that input type is equal to text form control and, and here the name is query so you should have the same name uh, uh, for the get parameter as well so in my view.py file i'm i'm uh, that's why i'm type request dot uh, query because this refers to the same name in the form we were referring to so what we can do so i will return an http response of q okay so this would uh, uh, this should work fine now uh, i'll move to the page and i'll refresh this okay this is still now fine 2 plus 3 star 5 so i should submit this yeah now this is working fine here you can see that uh, i went to the route as so, so i'll quick quickly uh, give a, a overview of this what i did so here you can see that uh, first uh, i defined uh, inside my navbar i gave hash instructions and defined an instructions block so basically you can uh, this these were instructions plus for addition minus multiplication division pro division parenthesis okay now then i went to urls.py file then i defined a path submit query which called the function views.submit query the name is going to submit query then i went to the views.py file then uh, i did request dot get query and q is equal to this okay so return http response of q okay so this is fine what we can do also uh, in the same way we can return a json response as well uh, for this you have to import json response json response and you can do json response of q so i'll i'll uh, make a get request okay uh, what for this what do you need to do you need to define a json dictionary and here you can define q is equal to q and 
uh, and then I have to return a JSON dictionary. Yeah, here you can see now this is an, working as a JSON object which says Q parameter and then 2 plus 3 star 5. Okay, so uh, for a JSON response, you have to define a dictionary because then it works like a JSON, uh, uh, JSON uh, object. Okay, so in this way, we can uh, define an HTTP response as well. So yeah, now this is fine. So we can, I'll quickly do this. Yeah, this is working fine. Okay, so I'll move to the page. Okay, I'll uh, type something else, minus two, then reset button. I'll copy this, reset button, re reset button works fine. I'll paste it here and submit. Yeah, now this is working fine. So in the next uh, video, what we can do, I would be adding uh, exception handling and how we can evaluate this result. So evaluating the result would be very easy uh, as Python is very powerful in mathematical operations. So and we would be adding try and accept statement as well. If the calculation has in some error, what we can do. So exception handling would be also added. So thank you guys. Thank you so much.